I'm Doug. Welcome to Backcountry Pilgrim, a channel that is all about camping, hiking, and backpacking. If you're into that stuff, why don't you hit the subscribe button and then we will get right to it. Today I want to talk to you about keeping your food safe from bears and bears safe from your food. All right, so let's jump in and talk about bear bags. Now, when someone says bear bag, you wanna be careful and make sure you know what they're talking about because it could mean a couple different things. Sometimes a bear bag just refers to whatever sack you happen to have, could be a stuff sack or a pillowcase or whatever, that you put everything in at night that you don't want bears to get to that you think they might. And then typically this is hung on a rope and tossed over a tree branch. We'll get into that in a few minutes. But the idea is you get it off the ground and away from camp so that when bears smell your yummy food or hygiene items or anything else, they won't come into your camp to try to get it and they won't be able to get it because it's hanging in a tree. Or more precisely, it's hanging off of a tree. But another thing a bear bag can refer to is a heavy duty sack that is designed to keep bears out even if they get their paws on it. Probably the most common thing that people mean when they talk about bear bags though is something like this. What makes this a bear bag, other than just a dry sack or a food bag, is this little guy right here. This is attached to the food bag so that you can attach a carabiner to it. And this allows you to slip a rope through it easily and hang it. So you could take the other end of the rope, tie a stick to it, throw the stick with the rope up over the branch, get the rope, hoist the bag up, tie the rope off to the tree or a rock or something. and now you've got your bear bag hung in a branch. However, today with all the lightweight materials and everything, it's not uncommon to see a dedicated pouch called a rock bag. This is just a small sack, big enough to hold a decent sized rock or a handful of rocks. And so you fill the bag up, you cinch it down, and it's got a carabiner on it as well. You attach this to your nice, dedicated, bright, easy to see at night when you're walking around cord, and you throw the rock bag over a branch and then you snap this onto your carabiner bag and up it goes. Now there are a couple of different ways that you can hang your bag. Kind of the classic way is about what you would imagine. The rope goes over the branch, you pull the bag up to the height that you want, and then you just tie the remaining rope up to the tree that is holding the branch, or maybe a rock in the ground, or a tent stake or something, just anything to keep it sturdy so that that hang remains all night. Another popular method is called the PCT method, named after the Pacific Crest Trail. As bears on the west coast got smarter and smarter, they actually started figuring out how to defeat the classic bear hang. And so another technique was developed that is a little more complicated, but is also in a sense a little more simple. That is to say there are more steps to the hang, but it requires less effort, like finding a tree or a rock or something to tie the rope off on. You start as you did before with throwing the stick or the rock sack or something over the branch, collecting the ends, clipping the bag on, and pulling it up. You actually pull it all the way to the branch, then you tie yourself a little slip knot, and you put a stick or a bigger carabiner or something through it, tighten it, let it go, and when that stick or carabiner gets up to the carabiner in the bag, the whole system is going to stop moving. And that allows the bag to hang precisely where you want it to without having to worry about what's left over on the dangling rope. When you're ready to get your bag down, you just pull the rope down, pull out the stick, unclip the carabiner, whatever, release the knot, let go, and the bag will come down. You want the bag at least 10 feet off the ground, but you also want it at least six feet away from the tree that it's hanging off of because bears are incredible climbers and they'll just climb up the tree and reach out and grab your bag if it's too close to the trunk. They can also go across branches and reach down and so the bag also needs to be hanging at least six feet down from the branch. Well, that's a pretty tall order in a number of forests. Sometimes you just don't find a branch that's gonna work, or even if you do, maybe it's too bushy for a good throw. So in those cases, what you can do is basically two rock bag tosses over two separate branches that leaves a line in the middle. You tie your bear bag to the middle of the line, pull both of them, and the bag raises up and is suspended between the two trees instead of off of one branch. Now, obviously, this is the most complicated of all the hangs, 
but in many cases, it's really your only option if you want to get that bag off the ground. Now, while you certainly can use really just about any bag for a bear bag in the sense of just putting your stuff in it and getting it off the ground, if you want something a little more sophisticated, a little more user-friendly and efficient, I would recommend going over to Hilltop Packs, the link is in the description below, and getting yourself the bear bag system. Now these have become very popular and it's not uncommon to see them in a system that makes it a lot easier to get that bag hung over the branch than it used to. These bags are made of Dyneema. They weigh nothing. Dyneema is natively water resistant to keep it dry in case it rains or snows. They give you plenty of line and it's a good waxy strong kind of line that isn't going to get hung up in the branches the way a lot of more fibrous rope would. And probably the best part is the customization features. You can get anything that you send Ben at Hilltop Packs printed on your bag. It could be a photo that you took, it could be a logo, it could just be text. And when you get a couple dozen people, it's going to become confusing to figure out whose is whose. And the last thing you want to do when you're hungry is be digging through everybody else's bags, trying to remember what's in yours so that you get the right one out. All right, I hope this video on bear bags has been informative to you. If it has, would you mind giving the video a like? And again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Until next time, I'm Doug. This is Backcountry Pilgrim. Thanks for watching.